Hi, and welcome to the intro to Twitter and social media for Real Women of Philadelphia. I'm your Twitter godmother, Kim Doyle Willing, and I'm here today to teach you a couple things about Twitter. I just noticed a couple of you are having some issues with it, and I've had a lot of DMs and messages on the board. I've read a ton of blogs over the weekend and last week and realized that you ladies are being scared of something that is really, really fun and interesting. I, I'm 54 years old. I taught myself this stuff. I'm actually pretty new to it. I only picked it up back in January. I actually started in December, but it intimidated me so much looking at all those squiggly little words and links and not understanding what was going on. So I'm here to make it easier for you. So I just wanted to let you know that I'm no Twitter pro or anything. In fact, I made some mistakes during this contest. I got so that I was only tweeting about Real Women of Philadelphia, the pound RWAP. That's called a hashtag. I, I had been really busy investigating a $750,000 embezzlement case at the same time as I was competing in this contest, so I didn't have a lot of time to be doing social media, and I kind of just dropped off the scene. So all of a sudden, I came back on the scene and started putting pound RWAP behind everything and only submitting recipes, and I realized I was starting to lose followers. And I realized I was really boring, too. I was boring myself. I was boring all the people following me. They followed me because they felt I was interesting one way or another. I have interest in cooking, in gardening, in law of attraction, in restorative justice, in environment. Um, in I love nonprofits. I absolutely love ampleharvest.org and feedingamerica.org because they are right in line with cooking and my heart. See, I'm a firefighter. This is my heart. I So you want to go after interests in Twitter that interests you. Then you'll have an automatic following. Now this is important. This is kind of your overview of social media. This is important because I've noticed a lot of you have blogs. A lot of you have had a hard time being employed. You're underemployed right now. Here in the Aspen area, we've been in a recession for three years. I, we, we think it's a depression. So many people have moved away. So we're all trying to find work outside of this valley. That's what social media is so good for. If you need to establish friends or you need to drive people to your business, it's exponential in growth, ladies. And it's so easy to do. It's so interesting. I, I have to really watch myself because I'll get clicking links in, in Twitter. I learned so much. This is how I learned about Twitter. This is how I've learned about solving criminal justice cases and, and investigating people. The $750,000 embezzlement case. You just have to pull those threads and investigate your interests. So this is really fun. You can teach old dogs new tricks, ladies. You've just proven it to yourself. And the thing you've got to think about is you just created a cooking channel in YouTube. If you produced videos for this contest, then you have a cooking channel. You should be marketing it. You can friend those people in YouTube, friend people in Twitter, friend, friend people on Facebook. I have a personal thing about Facebook because I was attacked by hackers and lost my computer last year at this time. So I will, I will have a, a chapter on internet security and things to do. But for today, I'm just giving you a brief overview and going to outline what we're going to do in this course. I just want to make sure that you know that this is easy. Don't be scared of it. You've created videos. We've all learned so much in this contest, haven't we? Let's go beyond our means. This is the time we market the live event that's coming up, the cookbooks we're all doing. We know the Real Women of Philadelphia website and Paula Dean have a lot more in store for us. So let's get media savvy. Get out there and have some fun. The main thing that I want to convey to you in social media, in Twitter, or anything, is that you have to treat this as if you're asking people to come to your business or come into your home. You would want to practice the golden rule. That means do unto others as they do unto you. If somebody follows you, follow them back. If somebody retweets you or mentions you or posts your link, you need to thank them for that. And there are tools and great applications in Twitter 
in all of the blog sites, really. But in Twitter, they have great, fun applications. You can track your stats of who's clicking on your links. You can shorten your links. You can post pictures. You can post videos. This is really fun, and it's so easy. The really I ended up liking Twitter so much better than Facebook. For one thing, I don't have to stick all my profile out there for cyber criminals to attack and to grab my personal information and possibly steal my ID or compromise accounts or any of that. Twitter, you've got 140 characters. But that's what's important. I'm, so I'm going to teach you how to abbreviate, how to read the hashtags, and how to just do all kinds of things. Twitter is so fun and fast and easy because it is so short. So you can even extend your tweets. That, I forgot to mention that. You can extend your tweets if you're verbose like me, but I haven't. I find 140 tweet characters is perfect. So I just want to tell you that um, you can do this. <laughs> you can absolutely do this. Don't be scared. Consider it fun. You've had fun in this contest. You're about to step to the next level of fun. So let's get going on this. To, uh, I just wanted to show you that today I'm giving you the bro brief overview I'm outlining the upcoming videos, and I'm going to give you some quick tips. Uh, the second part of the video will be dedicated to quick tips for current Twitter users. Let's get going, though. Right now, I want to just kind of get, tell you why it's so important for you to go on Twitter or to get into social media. You're going to want to link Twitter, all of your social media. There are e-zine articles you can write, your blogs, your websites. Any Facebook, uh, Ustream, Flickr, all of those membership sites. I've databased over 40 social networking sites for you guys. So I'll be posting those in a later uh, video. But what I want you to know is you should start thinking about that in advance. If you want to build an income or if you're trying to market what you're doing in the world, then you're going to want to understand how social media works. One person spreads the word to another. It's exponential in growth. You can do anything with social media, and it's so easy. So right here, I've started with, this is you. Say this is you in Twitter. You want to get followers in Twitter. So you want to follow Gardner, or whatever your interests are. So say you follow, I'm going to say, I'm following Tammy Jekyll. Okay? There's Tammy Jekyll. Hi, Tammy. Okay. Tammy Jekyll likes something that I tweeted. So she does what's called a retweet. She just clicks a button, and she can send what I tweeted out, and it appears with her. Well, everybody that's following her now gets to read that. Well, this person and this person and this person all of a sudden liked what that tweet said, and they tweet it out, and all of a sudden they have three people. Or let's say I'm talking to Tammy Jekyll, and she decides to to talk back to me. Or over here is Jen Peer. She's decided to talk to me too. Well, anybody that's following these women can see our conversations and they can pick up on what we've been saying and click on the links and jump in and follow. And so it grows. It just grows exponential wherever you are. You just have to get the interest in what you're doing. If you're posting the same tweets about our walk all the time, people are going to get bored with you. They're going to get bummed with you. They're going to unfollow you. They may leave you nasty messages. Same in Facebook. You can't post the same kind of content all the time. And it can be considered spamming. So you have to be very careful of what, uh, to be very diverse. Use quotes. Use, um, I post links on restorative justice on uh, ample harvest, ample harvest feeds. And they're asking people across America, they're planting their gardens right now. You have excess bounty. I fed my entire neighborhood last summer. My bounty this year, I'm actually planting extra, and I've organized a system in this valley to distribute food to our people that are hungry. There are a lot of children and people that are hungry right now across America. I know there are a lot of really cool women in this site, and you have kitchens that are bigger than my house, and boats and everything, but there are people that are seriously also in this site that their families are going hungry. So I'm going to give my vegetables and make sure these kids are getting fed right. So off that bandwagon again, God, I get carried away about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So let's move on.